Tori Spelling recalls bizarre location she got her first boob job. Tori Spelling recalled making a potentially questionable decision as a teen, and it involved a trip to a strip mall. On Saturday's episode of her Miss Spelling podcast, the former Beverly Hills 90,210 star opened up about getting her first breast augmentation procedure at what seemed like an unorthodox location. My first boob job, I had a friend at the time. It was the bad boyfriend I talk about. It was his friend's girlfriend and she was a stripper. And she had her boobs done. So she's like, oh, you just have to go to this place, Spelling said. The actor revealed that the surgery was performed at an outpatient facility at the plaza. I went to this doctor and it was in a strip mall. I'm not kidding. I can't make this up. I think he was a fine doctor, she recalled. It was just an outpatient surgery center in a strip mall. But you know, I was 19, so I was like, uh, this isn't Beverly Hills. What's happening? I was confused. And now I know, hey, you can get everything done in a strip mall. But that was back then, so I was concerned. But of course I didn't say anything. And I got them done and then they took me home. Spelling said she was initially scared to tell her parents that she'd gone under the knife. So she enlisted her Hollywood pals to help her recover. At the time, I was best friends with Alicia Silverstone and Carmen Electra. And they were taking care of me. I can't even make this stuff up she said. Spelling also explained that she eventually got another procedure after the first one. My whole intention of getting them redone was to go smaller, she shared. Looking back to the 90s, I was like, I liked my boobs. I wish I had just kept them. They're really great. And I was like a 32B. Maybe like an A plus or minus. I just wanted to make them fuller. That's what we can inform you. If the audience is satisfied with the information, don't forget to help us by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. For the support of all the viewers, we thank you.